almost all Sweden's rail traffic originates or terminates in Stockholm. This means that the rail line between Stockholm Central and Stockholm Södra, known as the Wasp's Waste, is the most heavily used in the country. Every summer from 2018 to 2020, the link is to close down for eight weeks for renovation and modernization, for the trains of the future and the passengers of tomorrow. The overhaul is vital for the improvement of train punctuality throughout Sweden. In the summer of 2019, the superstructure on the railway bridges over Söderström and Södermela Strand will be changed. First, the uprights the bridge superstructure rests on are to be renovated. After the water around them is drained off using caissons or waterproof boxes. To allow the bridge bearings to be changed, temporary supports called shoring towers are built up. At the same time, work begins on dismantling the pedestrian bridge across Söderström. The new bridge superstructures are delivered by barge as three almost complete sections. When the bridge sections are removed, the waters around Söderström will be closed off for boat traffic. First, the old bridge superstructures are dismantled. This is done in three stages. Tugboats manoeuvre the barges under the bridge. Using trailers and ballast systems, the bridge sections are raised so the weight is transferred to the barges. Next, the carriage is withdrawn and the section is shifted so it rests only on the larger barge. As the first bridge section is taken away, the northern section is removed in a similar way. The old bridge sections are dismantled and recycled in Mela Dalen. When the old bridge section over Serda Mela Strand is removed and a new one put in place, vehicle traffic along Serda Mela Strand will have to be rerouted for several days. The plan is to lift and transfer the old section to the barge using trailers. The new bridge part rests on the same barge and when the old part is loaded up on the barge, it turns around and the new section can be lifted off in the same way. The two final sections are coupled together and lifted into position with the help of barges and trailers. The rails and other railway equipment are put in place. After that, the pedestrian stairways leading down to Munkbruhamnen and Serda Mela Strand will be assembled. Finally, the shoring towers are removed from the bridge supports. During the eight-week long closure, Rail work and repairs will also be carried out on other parts of the WASP's waste. In the tunnel under Södermalm, we will exchange the old rails and sleepers and install a new switch with higher capacity. South of the tunnel at Riederholmen Island, repair work will be carried out on the so-called upramp. Renovation and reinforcement work will also be done in the tunnel and surrounding area. At Tegelbacken, seven switches are to be replaced and given final positions. After a technically very demanding operation, the link will be reopened at the end of the summer of 2019. In the summer of 2020, we will replace the bridge over Nordström in the same way. The entire overhaul is estimated to be completed by the autumn of 2021. Sweden's most important rail link will then have been modernised and given a new technical lifespan of 80 years. Rail traffic will again be able to move safely and punctually in and out of Stockholm. <laughs>